In this quick video, I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare your media and inoculate it in order to grow a bacterial culture. First, let us remember proper lab safety. Even though these materials are mostly safe, you still do not want to get any in your eye on accident. So I'm going to wear my safety goggles. In addition, to help minimize exposure to any other bacteria, I'm going to wear gloves. This is just an extra step to help maintain an uncontaminated sample. The following materials are needed to set this up. We have nutrient auger, 10 petri dishes, tape, a glove to handle hot liquids, boiling water in a container, and sterile swabs. Now let's begin. You will need to open up and lay out the petri dishes. Be careful not to touch the insides. Even with gloves on, you may have picked up some hitchhiking bacteria that can contaminate your sample. Heat some boiling water up in an appropriate container and place the agar bottle in the glass with the lid off. Be careful not to submerge the bottle or get water inside of it. Once fully liquefied, carefully take the bottle out with a glove. It will be hot. Allow it to cool for a bit until you can safely pour it into each petri dish. You will only need a thin layer that coats the entire bottom of the dish. Give it a couple minutes to rest and cool. It will harden into a thick gel. Next, take your sterile swab, open it up, and rub it on the surface you want to test. Only test one surface with each swab. Again, you don't want to cross-contaminate. Now take your swab and wipe it in a zigzag pattern across the auger gently. You do not need to press hard. As long as they make contact, it should be fine. Now, cover your petri dish with its lid and tape it shut. Do not open it back up after you do this. Repeat this process for each test area and place your dishes somewhere warm and out of harm's way. Now that you know how to prepare and inoculate your media for bacterial growth, you can create, set up, and perform your own experiment.